All right, so we're going to find our file. Go File, Open. I'm going to go up to my layouts, find the direct, correct layout I'm working on. And I want to open my contact.xml. You do not want to open your field files from here. That will not give you what you're looking for. So simply open contact.xml. Now I want to import my field files. So I'm going to go File, Import. Now I grab my field files. What that done is, is it has loaded the file for me so I have all my fields available. To use my fields, I'm going to come up to my field tool, which is an F on my layout. Click on that. I'm going to draw a box. Now it's going to pop up for me all the fields that are available in my database to put on this screen. And you can see it's every single field in my database. They do not all have to be on this screen, but you do need to notice that contact is not in here because it's already on my screen. So you only get the option of putting it on your screen one time. We happen to have named ours kind of the same, so they're contact type, date, and received. I'm going to click add. I can now close this. I want to go back to my pointer tool. Now I have my contact type, which remember is a drop down, my date, which is a date field, so it doesn't have to be that big, and I have contract received. Remember, I wanted to make that particular one a checkbox. But first thing I want to notice is that they're not the same color as my other fields. So to keep them formatted the, formatted the same way, I'm going to double click on zip and pick up the correct color. I just did an Alt C to copy it. I can draw a straight line down, picking up all of those, and I can change them in one step. And do the same thing for the fields. That allows me to keep my system a little more uniform. I also have the option, when I do this, of changing where they go. And I'm going to do grab both of them by drawing a little box around them. Put that up top. And I'm going to change their order just a little bit because I want to put the date underneath there. When I'm done, I want these in descending order. So. Now the next thing, I remember I said we were going to make this a checkbox, sort of like how main contact is a checkbox up here. I'm going to double click on the field and I'm going to go to attributes. And you have three attributes to pick. You can do a checkbox, you can do a text box where you can make it multiple lines, meaning it will word wrap, and you can do a drop down. In this case we want to make it a checkbox. Say OK. Now we're going to grab all three fields by drawing a box around them and move them up to where we want them to be. Now the next thing I want to do is line them up a little better. So I want to grab all three labels and line them to the right. And I want to grab all three fields and align them to the left. These tools allow you to align and they allow you to evenly space them. I can make this box just a little shorter and now it should fit pretty well right up inside my space. So now I have my three boxes. You'll see that I have some of the data have red boxes around them. To build a box, all you have to do is click on the rectangle tool and build a box. And then it'll pop up the property sheet. You can pick the color you want. And that allows you to put a box around your system. Then you want to save. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to work on my order, my tab order. To change the tab order, you click on 1, 2, 3, and it'll show you what you currently have. So you want to come through and just click them in the order you want them. And if, as you're going through, you have to click each field to have them show up properly. And then you, as you're coming down, you would make your changes. Then you hit Save. Now we're ready to upload this back onto our system. So I prefer to not close this file because I may have some editing changes I want to look at and make. So I'm just going to minimize it and I'm going to come to Upload. I, that's a left click on Upload, browse to my file, pick my file and hit Open. Upload that file to the server. It's going to tell me when it's done. I can hit Close. I can come back to my record and you will see that the fields are added to my system. They look pretty good.
so I really am not going to have to make the changes to them. What I am going to do though is I'm going to set, shave, share my layout with everybody else. Because I'm making changes, no one will get to see my changes until such time as I give permission. So I'm going to go to Customize Tabs and Layouts. I verify everything is where I want it to be. Click back on Customize and then I click on Make My Screen Layout Active for All Users. That means my layout will be approved for every other user who starts. Now when you have a new employee that you um, add to the system, you want to share your customized layout with them. Every new employee starts with the basics, so you have, all you have to do is make my layout active for all users and they'll be caught up to date. And that is the information on how you build custom fields and add them to your layout. Thank you.